largest food distribution site at the Port of Palm Beach tells CBS 12 News they've run out of food twice in the last month as COVID-19 continues to take a toll on our economy. Well, CBS 12's Jay O'Brien was there today as the same organization handed out free Thanksgiving dinners and saw a need for food that hasn't gone anywhere. Jay? This is sadly familiar. Free Thanksgiving turkeys handed out to Americans hurting in an unfamiliar economy. Today, it happened at Howley's in West Palm Beach, owned by Rodney May. I think there's always been food banks and food kitchens. It's just exponentially grown because of COVID. As savings spike and the stock market soars, too many Americans this year got their Thanksgiving dinner through a car window and don't know where they'll see that next meal. Thanksgiving, people get three or four meals. It's the other 364 days of the year when they don't, when they need it. Mayo's charity, Hospitality Helping Hands, also runs a grocery distribution at the Port of Palm Beach. Demand is up, while available food has dwindled. For the past two weeks, they've run out and turned about 800 cars away. Five. David Ray saw some of the same families who got groceries at the port looking for a hot meal today at Howley's. I'm going to need two sets of 20. Then, out of the blue, a call. 40 homeless veterans in two different hotels about to go without a Thanksgiving dinner. Ray won't stand for that. And I'm going to do a run in the van. Loading up. I'm going to put it right there in that shelf. He hits the road. Good to go. In the last few weeks, Ray, too, had to look families in the eye as food ran out at his distribution site. It breaks your heart when you see people with children in their backseat and have to turn them away. He's the person many in line turn to with their problems, like one woman who said she's still out of a job. No one's giving her any answers, um, but yet she's hearing people tell her how great the economy is. You're Dave? <laughs> yeah. When the van pulls up, David Apgar, once a Navy jet mechanic, is there to help unload on behalf of the other vets waiting inside. David's been without a home now for two Thanksgivings. It's hard, both physically and mentally, but you persevere through it. His hope rolls on, bringing Thanksgiving to his comrades inside, who, like many Americans this year, will rely on the kindness of others for their next meal, too. Jay O'Brien, CBS 12 News. All right.